you. The plane you flew in on. Them Damn. Shoes. Those socks with the bell on. Damn. Your ass Damn. Accent. Them cheap ass cigars. Your yuck mouth teeth. Your hair piece. Your chocolate. Guy Ritchie. Damn. Prince William. The queen. And if Damn. I go on the street, I'm snapping the shit out of you. Nobody What's good, YouTube? Adrian the Kid, and I'm literally back in this bit, man. Today we got my team gave me the Mink Mink 4000. Now, I don't know if they mean Mink Mink or Mink Mink, you know what I'm saying? Let's get it. Devontae the one. All right, y'all. So this story happened when I was 16 years old oh, back shit. in 2016. I am 22 right now. That year was... Story happened when I was 16 years old back in 2016. I am 22. 99? So what is it like 24 now? Right now. That year was pretty interesting because you know, I got my first car, crashed it a week later. I got assaulted by a stressed out 40 year old. I got my first <laughs> job. I got called a <laughs> you finished that sentence. By my best friend. Whoa, dad. calm down. I watched as my mom almost Dang. beat the fuck out of my principal. You feel me like a lot of shit went down. <laughs> me. However, comma, I don't think any of those will top what happened during the day of the fire drill oh, i remember shit. it like it was yesterday because everything went left i gotta like, put my I chain on slide left now i don't know what type of black air forces i was smoking back then but it must have been the high tops because i was on menace timing <clears throat> my bad when it came to football of course shoot it wasn't my fault the hate i was getting was slowly making me savage <laughs> i was always on menace timing during football because of the simple fact that me and the players the staff too we didn't really get along i wasn't yeah. one of the popular people i was the underdog i wasn't gang so hey, that, I was, couldn't hang. that was me I was too in, like the middle of the food chain so every chance they got they tried to hold me Four facts hey man i was not like like i wasn't i wasn't popular you know i was in high school but it's like I knew a lot of people, and a lot of people knew me. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't going out of, going out of my way. Hey, I was you know in like saying? the but middle shit. of the food chain, no. so every chance they got, they tried to hold me for no damn reason. I'm just trying to drink some chocolate milk and go back to class. Leave me alone. Facts. Everybody on that damn team had me going through character development, especially in the locker rooms. But you know what? I wasn't no meow. They was giving me hell, so I gave them hell back. Facts. Yeah, I was quiet, but little did they know I was one of the biggest trash talkers up in there, and I was one of the top five strongest people up in there. Okay. I believe I use that to my advantage because every time i was provoked i would counter provoke them 10 times harder and yeah. they would get pissed every time which makes no sense to me because don't open the door and be afraid of what's gonna come out like i, knew what I was doing i knew the consequences but i didn't give a fuck. which brings us back to the day of the fire drill oh my gosh bro i got so sick of their shit nigga mm. i remember it was like english or math. <clears throat> I, I can't remember which class it was it was hey, a fire drill me. and they told everybody to go outside in the fields and chill out till everything settles so <laughs> that's crazy start going off woo, woo, so we all get to stepping we all get down to the soccer fields right and it was like this fence that separated everybody like whatever side of the school you came out of that's the side you were going to be on i get to the fence right big chilling i ain't trying to bother nobody next thing i know i hear a crowd of hooligans trying to intimidate me for no ooh, ooh. damn My bad. reason at this point looking back on it i think they were just bored or they probably felt like i was an easy target that they could just pick on and make themselves look good in front of everybody else Thanks. and they in front of the house quacking off at the mouth i'm talking about oh you're trash racka 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 uh we'll beat your ass blah 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 we'll blah 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 wicka, wicka, wicka. meanwhile i'm just sitting there like damn so this is where my villain origin story <laughs> begins huh and nah hey nobody hates you more than your teammates bro besides like 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 uh uh the like like you know what i'm saying a few teammates that, that are actually your friends you know what i'm saying especially in front of the huzz you know what i'm saying your teammates gonna be like be like in public hey man i can't believe you did that last night you know what i'm saying we could have won if it wasn't for you you know what i'm saying them lame ass yeah, niggas bro trying to press the huzz like i ain't like none of them niggas i ain't want no peace from anybody because it was impossible i was the <laughs> outcast i only had a select few people in there that i actually enjoyed talking to like no new friends no new friends no 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 i stayed right. down from day one so, <laughs> so he just like me for real all the smoke i'm like man shut your bitch ass, ass up. up nigga nobody asked you how to ass thing you better shut the fuck up before i knock your fucking head off your shoulders old big ass <laughs> man y'all they look Chico, at me like your chest out your stomach how dare you as if i'm not supposed to talk my back like making 
make sense. If Thanks. A plus B equals C, then what the fuck y'all want me to do? So then the dude Thanks. in the middle, Cam, the all-star athlete that had everybody on his dick, he was like, who you think you talking to? You do realize we can jump you. The only thing Man, do it. You don't have to jump over this fence. fence. Number one, you came for me first. Number two, y'all really think I cared if a fence was separating me? I don't care if these niggas was on the same side as me. I would've did the same thing. I don't Man. care. Because I ain't have nothing to lose. I don't fight to fight. I fight to, to win. Hell. Like you know what before I'm that day, I let a lot of things slide. But at that very <laughs> moment, I threw all that out the window. Like, this wasn't no movie. The smart thing to do was to just walk away. But then I thought to myself, Man, forget that. what if this was a movie? What I said afterwards basically went like this. Look, you, the plane you flew in on, them Damn. shoes, those socks with the bell on, Damn. your ass Damn. accent, them cheap ass cigars, your yuck mouth teeth, your hair piece, your chocolate, Guy Ritchie, Prince William, the queen. And if Damn. I on the street, I'm slapping the shit out of him. Bruh, I'll probably... <laughs> Dumb ways to die. They never this nigga probably like nigga, i'm getting flashbacks my head starting to hurt hearing it again he was like you know what we're gonna jump you after school matter of fact Bro. we're gonna do it during school who tells you when you're gonna, gonna get jumped about it <sighs> it's a and i knew exactly when he was talking about he was talking about third period football workouts the period where when my coach shut that door you have football anything was bound to happen now you you have football workouts mid day but no 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 no. it was quite it's kind of different i was ready to die on that hill and take a couple bodies with me in the moment i really thought i was on some animation like bro i was ready to give everybody the meet me <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> this nigga said mickey mouth like, move <laughs> You know, I do the niggas. I didn't choose Thug Life. Thug Life chose me. Subconsciously, I knew that was impossible. There was just too many of them. I knew I couldn't tell nah, the middle of demon. person that was going to try to jump me that day. But like I said, I was ready to throw it all away. Because you right. get to a point where you just tired of being tired, bro. Like, you tired of being a doormat. Like, I, I, right. get off my dick. I knew they were dead serious. That's why I wanted to leave there on a 20 oh. kill streak. And whoa, not whoa. There, not, not like that. 30. If I'm going six feet under, I'm going to take somebody with me. I don't care if I had to pick up a, a dumbbell, a, a 10 pound weight. Nigga, I'm not fighting with these hands. Fuck I look like Meliodas, Saitama, Mikey, Rock Lee. Niggas getting these motherfucking weapons. Shoot, you. This nigga said he gonna go pick up a dumbbell. <laughs> I d My bad. Up a, a I dumbbell, was a, a 10 pound weight. Nigga, I'm not fighting with these hands. Fuck I look like Melio. Bro, 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 imagine getting smacked in the face with a dumbbell. Niggas getting these motherfucking weapons. Shoot, you would have saw me in there swinging the blades of exile if I had the chance. Shout out my boy Kratos. So fast forward the next day, third period. Still ain't played that game. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Was I nervous? Not, not really. I was more focused than I ever have been in my life. Nigga, I was ready to throw it all away. I was ready to bring the shovel and karate cut these awesome. niggas. There was a pathway that everybody had to go through that leads to the pathway to the door that leads into the facility i'm gonna try my best to map it out for y'all i get to pathway one and so far the ghost is clear but everything changed when i got to pathway two. Oh, shit. I remember this vividly. I get around the corner. I see the door wide open and my six of my teammates poking their head out <laughs> waiting for me. They wasn't even saying nothing. They was just staring at me. Niggas was standing there like some NPCs. Hey, that's what you gotta have that, that Miska Miska Mouska tool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna die without a fight. And if I lose that fight, I think to myself like, then what? So this is where my villain origin story progresses. I see Cam walk up and he's just staring at me, waiting on me too. Like, I, this is really about to go down. It was not lying when they said nobody was here to save me because that nigga Coach Addison was in his office, which was on the other side of the building. But yeah. you know what? I called they bluff. So I get to walking up there and I'm like, bro, first person to touch me, bro, I'm finna go fight. Whole time I'm on a Nardo Wick type beat. I don't want to smoke on me. Who wanna smoke with me? Like, bro, I was on it. I Facts. Six guys and Cam, right? And oddly, they didn't touch me he when I walked it. inside. He but did. they were still just staring at me. Like, can you say sneak attack? When I got inside, it was like a two-way. One side on the left leading to the facility that you do all the equipment and training and the turf was there. Okay. And the other side leading to the locker room. And it was third period. So, of course, I'm going to take a left and go to the facility with the turf and the equipment. Like, nigga, we're going to work out right after this. But right now, work out and I'm grab that dumbbell. Free workout. You feel me? I walk into the facility, right? Guard still up. I'm about 15 steps in. Next thing I know, while I'm walking, I hear. 
blocked by 30, 40 hey, turn around. behind Ooh. me. I'm like, oh, brother. I guess this is where my villain origin story peaks. I turn around, bro, and before I can get my bag off of my back, bro, I get speared by Cam. Nigga really hit me with the you. Nigga threw me to the ground with my bag on, right? I somehow get my bag off, and we get to scrapping, bro. And we wasn't even fighting for real. We was just grabbing each other and slamming each other to the ground <laughs> each time. Like, bro, mind you, this nigga is 6'3". I was 5'6". I am still 5'6 to this day. Hey, hey, short game, you know what I'm saying? Even though I'm 5'12". Five, I'm five a tad said. bit stronger than him. Just a tad bit. The only advantage he had over me was arm length, and that's about it. Whole time in my mind while I'm fighting this nigga, right? Or You're yeah, not even fighting. Nigga, like, what are we doing, WWE? I'm thinking to myself, like, hold up. Didn't y'all say all y'all was going to jump me? There's only one person Damn. here. Like, I'm not even kidding, bro. Everybody else in the hallway was just sitting there watching us fight. Like, oh, oh, I know what's going on here. It's a bunch of p***ies in here. Y'all said y'all was going to do it. Stand on it. Thanks. The only thought running through my head when I saw that when I was fighting this nigga was, Smell like this in here, Oh, y'all smell like this to me. Three minutes later, Coach Addison walks in and breaks up the fight. He puts them on punishment. Oh, yeah, 50 gassers. Football people know. He sends me to class scotch-free, but I'm still pissed off. Whole time in my head, I'm like, hold up. Wait a minute. If I see my homie right fighting. Like You're punishing them, but not me. Wait. Did we have cameras? And did you watch them do this? If that was the case, Addison, you a hoe for that. Fast forward next day, Spanish class. I remember it like it was yesterday. I will not use this nigga's real name. We're just gonna call him Darren. Darren walks up to me, and this is a person that I, number one, don't talk to a lot. Number two, is a part of the same clique that was like, oh, I'm gonna jump you. But I ain't do nothing but just sit there and watch. I was in the back of the class, right? Darren walks up to me, he's like, if you ever talk about our squad again, we'll come for you. Man, nigga. <laughs> Nigga, bro, I, we just seen we, we just seen what you did, bro. I'm gonna find exactly where he was at. Darren, this is you. D Darren, <laughs> bro, ain't nobody scared of your squad, bro. Jump you, but I ain't do nothing but just sit there and watch. I was in the back of the class. I'm like, right? nigga, come on, bro. To me, he's like, if you ever talk about our squad again, we'll come for you. And he did it behind my we, head, which made we'll. me even more pissed. Like he was trying to intimidate me or something. Bro, when I tell you, I turned to this nigga, looked him in his eye in front of everybody and was like, who the fuck? I would have told him to do it right then. Shut he your bitch ass up before I ripped your fucking spine <laughs> out of your body. The teacher looked at me so crazy. I think he knew what was up because he didn't do nothing about it. Darren didn't yeah. say nothing afterwards. He just got up and walked away. Oh, ah, you must have expected a different answer. No, 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 no. You don't mess with Devontae the one? one? Let me make this freaking clear i know how to choose my battles wisely especially now however That's... comma i am not a tough guy by any means i am a nerd i'm not a tough guy but i'm not a weak guy not you know what i'm saying here and let no nigga beat me in front of everybody that's not how i was raised you know who still talked about their homies afterwards me 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 you know who didn't do a thing about it <laughs> take a wild guess hey man don't be story time i don't want to get copyrighted Just reminded me of high school. It's like, like I still got story times. I gotta tell y'all. You know what I'm saying? I just gotta, you know what I'm saying? Get to it. I was really stalling until like, uh, until I got out of high school to tell some of these story times. You know what I'm saying? That, that I got coming up. You know what I'm saying? I can think of like three right now. You know what I'm saying? I probably got in total like thirty. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But look, man, W video. His entire team was weak. You feel me? But look, man, that's gonna wrap it up for this vid, man. Hope you enjoyed, man. If y'all did, make sure you leave a like. And I'll see you coming up below right after this, man. <clears throat> Follow my social at the bottom, Adrian the Kid, and I'm letting them out this bit, man. Game.